Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel where today we have another FM17 experiment for you and this time we're looking at John Terry at Aston Villa. Now unless you've been under a rock for the last few days you'll have known that John Terry signed a one year deal with Aston Villa on the 3rd of July. So he is now at Aston Villa and it's going to be interesting to see how they get on with him in the Championship next season given that experience that has seen him guide Chelsea to European success. Uh, and also league success. So he's a bit of a Chelsea legend. Let's go and have a look then at how he's going to get on at Aston Villa. Yeah, well, first and foremost, delighted to be here um, as a player. It's obviously a huge club. Um, and a few conversations with Steve over the summer um, that's kind of got me here as well. Uh, but listen, first and foremost, delighted to play. Um, I'm very hungry to still play at the, at the top. And, and with a team that's got the same ambition as me and the management that's got the same ambition as me is to, to win and get promoted. So that's why I'm at Aston Villa. So then, here we go into Football Manager and here is John Terry at Aston Villa. He's currently valued at 850 grand, getting paid 45k a week. He's 35 years old. He's got plenty of brilliant mental stats, a lot of high you know, 20 uh, teamwork, 20 leadership, 19 determination, 20 bravery. So in that defensive role, he's going to be a key player for Aston Villa this season. The question is, however, is that enough alone to get Aston Villa back into the Premier League? We're going to find out. So then first things first, we've skipped through to the 1st of January 2017. And as we can see on the screen in front of us, Aston Villa currently sit in fourth position. Now their media prediction for the season is to finish second. So they're kind of on target for that at the minute. Two points off Ipswich who currently top the league with Hull in second, Middlesbrough in third, uh, Aston Villa in fourth. Let's have a quick look at how John Terry's getting on. Steve Bruce obviously still the manager. John Terry's played 27 games uh, with one assist, four man of the matches for a 7.42 rating. He has only been outperformed at Aston Villa by Connor Hurahane, who has done really well for Aston Villa. Uh, John Terry's played really well, though. He's maintaining his stats as well. Uh, it'd be interesting to see, actually, if he can get them up at the first time of asking. Join me again in a second when we'll go through to the end of the season. So we're back then at the end of May 2017 and it looks like they've failed in their attempt to get promoted to the Premier League with the help of John Terry. Aston Villa finished down in fifth position with 74 points. Middlesbrough win the league on 89 points with Hull in second on 86 and Fulham beat Ipswich 2-1 in the playoff finals to go through into the Premier League. Now Aston Villa, they were predicted to finish second so in a lot of respects that was a below par season for them. John Terry played 48 games uh, with seven man of the matches for a 7.46 average rating. And he comes out as the best player in this Aston Villa team alongside James Bree, who was very close uh, on 7.45. He was brought in from Barnsley. He played really well for Aston Villa. Uh, he's a 19-year-old. But yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, Aston Villa could not get the job done with John Terry in the side, but I definitely think he's had a lot of positive impact on the team. Uh, he's performed really well throughout the season, so I think if they can get a couple more players in in real life, they've got every chance of getting back into the Premiership. Remember, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, please drop a like uh, down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. We've got plenty more stuff coming up in the next few weeks, uh, moving into FM 18 and all sorts. But yeah, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you again next time.